नेक्स्ट सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम फाइंड इंटेग्रल ऑफ डी एक्स बाई फाइव माइनस टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एक्स ओके i is equal to integral 1 by phi minus 2x square plus 4x dx since it is in the form of integral 1 by ax square plus bx plus c dx step 1 this ax square plus bx plus c should be reduced in terms of a times of x plus alpha square plus beta. So, first let us consider phi minus 2 x square plus 4 x. Let us take minus 2 common, we have x square and minus 2 x and minus 5 by 2. x coefficient is actually 2. So, multiply with the half. So, 1 that means add 1 square subtract 1 square minus 2 times x square minus 2 x plus 1 square and minus 1 square minus 5 by 2. So, this is minus 2 times x minus 1 whole square and minus 1 minus 5 by 2 minus 7 pi by 2. So, this can be written minus 2 into x minus 1 whole square root of 7 by 2 whole square. Substituting here minus 1 by 2 comes out. So, this becomes now i becomes minus 1 by 2 integral 1 by x minus 1 whole square minus root of 7 by 2 whole square dx. Now, Second step, put x minus 1 is equal to t. Differentiate with respect to x. dt by dx is equal to 1. So, dx is equal to dt. This becomes minus of integral 1 by t square minus root of 7 by 2 whole square dt. So, this is a formula we have 1 by x square minus a square dx that is log 1 by 2 a log mod x plus a by x minus a plus constant of integration. Using this formula minus 1 by 2 to 1 by 2 a 1 by 2 root 7 by root 2. This is log mod t plus a bar t plus a means t plus root 7 by 2 t minus root of 7 by 2. This is root 2 times here root 2. So, minus 1 by 2 times root 2 into root 7 is root 14 log mod what does t stands for x minus 1. So, x minus 1 plus root of 7 by 2, x minus 1 minus root of 7 by 2 plus constant of integration. Next problem, evaluate integral dx by x square plus x plus 1. Let us say i equals to integral 1 by x square plus x plus 1 dx. Since it is in the form of integral 1 by a x square plus b x plus c dx, as for the step 1, as for the working rule, the a x square plus b x plus c should be put in the form of a of x plus alpha whole square plus beta. So, let us write this one x square plus x plus 1 
x square coefficient is unity, you need not take out anything common. C x coefficient is 1, one multiply with of 1 by 2, add of square, subtract of square for this one x square plus x plus 1 by 2 square and plus 1 and minus 1 by 2 whole square. This is x plus half whole square, this will be plus 1 minus 1 by 4, x plus half whole square plus 3 by 4, this can, can be written as x plus half plus root 3 by 2 whole square for our convenience. Substituting, now i becomes integral 1 by x plus of whole square plus root 3 by 2 whole square dx. Second step, put x plus 1 by 2 is equal to t differentiate with respect to x. If you differentiate with respect to x, what do you get now? dt by dx is equal to 1, dx is equal to dt. Now, this is integral 1 by t square plus root 3 by 2 a square and dt. Now, in this case, how does it appear? It appears to be integral 1 by a square plus x square dx which is equal to 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus constant of integration. Okay, am I correct? Now, using this standard integral, this can be written 1 by a 1 by root 3 by 2 tan inverse of t by root 3 by 2. So, this is 2 by root 3 tan inverse of 2 t by root 3. What does t stands for? t stands for x plus half. So, that means 2 root 3 tan inverse of 2 multiplied by x plus 1 that is 2 x plus 1, 2 x plus 1 by root 3 plus constant of integration. Now, we discuss evaluation of the integrals of the form integrals dx by root of a x square plus b x plus c and integral root of a x square plus b x plus c dx, where a comma b comma c belongs to r and a does not equal to 0. And also let us discuss working rule or algorithm to find out such integrals. So, evaluation, evaluation evaluation of integrals of integrals of the form of the form 1 integral 1 by root of a x square plus b x plus c d x and second one integral root of a x square plus b x plus c d x, where a comma b comma c belongs to real numbers and a does not equal to 0. Now, case 1, a 
a greater than 0, then reduce reduce a x square plus b x plus c into a of x plus alpha whole square plus beta case 2. If a less than 0, then reduce a x square plus b x plus c in the form or into minus a of beta minus x plus alpha whole square. So, after reducing this one, this is comes under step 1. So, step 2. So, now put x plus alpha is equal to t, then integrate and find out the required integral. So, let us move to the examples now.